nobody is perfect or born perfect so you have to acquire perfection Sim that that goes true for the presentations also for anything for that matter practice practice makes a man perfect now that's the saying is not just like that it it is true that uh, after making preparations you have to practice your uh, talk with your present presentation materials that is slides you know so for each slide you should make notes what you are going to speak about that slide one two three four up to the end you know and 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 then uh, you should be able to i'm not saying you, you memorize all that but then you it should be in your mind that one after the other the slides are presented and uh, and uh, you should know what you have to talk um, uh, in, for each slide you know and if it is a time bound presentation you should also be careful that how much time you want to spend for one slide second slide third slide and like that and then practice practicing is um, practice is very very important uh, aspect so how this practice is done as i told you you can make uh, notes about each slide from first slide to the uh, end slide you know and then uh, you have to make rehearsals hmm? uh, rehearsals with uh, either you can be with your colleagues i have seen in our uh, uh, our students you know uh, all of you are now in, in your home but then in, when you used to be here they they practice and they do rehearsal among themselves you know each one of them they make presentation to them that is one or you can practice in isolation in uh, in your own rooms you know uh, in front of mirror or whatever uh, makes you comfortable but rehearsal practicing is very very important aspect of uh, uh, the presentation okay uh, and to prepare yourself better than that okay. so it helps you number one um, uh, to uh, remember uh, uh, the sequence of the slides one after the other b uh, um, the time budgeting if you are given 30 minutes 45 minutes 20 minutes whatever so you won't cross your time if you have rehearsed your talk the contents the slides how much time you have to give to one slide so all this helps if you suppose to have not done, done any practice or rehearsals you take your slides or go and then either you finish the 30 minutes talk you finish in 15 minutes or you take the 45 minutes or one hour which is in, a, in either case not professional being professional whatever time is given you should be able to finish within that time not before nor after you know like that and uh, whatever contents you have prepared uh, for presentation you should be able to um, uh, uh, be able to uh, deliver it to the audience you know that's very very important uh, you know, it's no, it should not be that on one slide you are spending 10 minutes and the remaining towards the end you just go tuck, 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 uh, finish it up. So it, it should not be like that. You know? And that you achieve by rehearsing or practicing. You know? So very important aspect of this. Uh, then comes the presentation. So presentation actually is your own level of confidence if you are confident of your preparations the contents which you have prepared the, the slides which you have prepared um, uh, and you have done practice and rehearsals uh, okay then uh, then your uh, you will be having the confidence uh, uh, for, for, for delivering the talk you know so for that you have to uh, make a very strong start in the sense that uh, uh, confidently you should face the audience and then uh, in first few minutes you should engage them you know uh, and uh, and uh, 
you should try to communicate with the audience uh, by making eye contact. You should not see here and there, upside down. Stand. You should face the audiences eye to eye, you know, whatever you are commun communicating. And, uh, uh, and, and in between, give a smiles also, you know. Uh, okay. So uh, these are, uh, uh, th 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 that helps you in making, in, uh, estab uh, in establishing contacts with the audience. You know? These are the uh, points. So if you keep all these things in mind, you make uh, either you make a, uh, I mean, I mean, if you don't, your presentation can be uh, good or bad. Now, if if your presentation is bad and it has flaws, then why? one makes a bad presentation it is lack of experience lack of enthusiasm lack of practice lack of related materials whatever you have taken lack of confidence hesitations ambiguity of this so these are the points you know which if if you have not taken care of the points which i was mentioning results into a bad presentation okay and uh, and what makes a, the presentation, a success or successful presentation, that is, that if you are prepared well, rehearsed well, and you have a grip on the topic, and you know the subject, and you have been positive in the talk, you know, and uh, you are uh, you are talking to the audience uh, without any stress, that makes your uh, presentation very. Uh, successful you know so be, i mean based on how you have prepared it can be good or bad presentation you know so i have i have told both what makes a good presentation and what makes a bad presentation okay and then uh, conclusions as i told you uh, you have to conclude your presentation uh, and uh, uh, prepare well uh, and don't fear you know even if you are if you have stage fear you know, uh, you try to channelize that, you know, to start thinking about the topic rather than what audiences are thinking about you, you know, and uh, try to be more interactive with audiences. So these are some of the key points that you should keep in mind to make a, a good presentation, like preparation is the key. You should prepare the topic very well, you know. Uh, if you have prepared well, then you won't feel any fear, you know. Fear is always fear of failing. Failing in the sense that you won't be able to make a good presentation. So don't come out of that. If you prepare well, your slides are good, uh, then uh, the, this fear should not be there. You should be confident. You should be confident enough, not overconfident. Sometimes overconfidence also takes you down. So you should be confident of what you want to uh, communicate with the audience, you know. And uh, so. Uh,